in overdoing it as usual production. New game. All right, let's go. We're starting this one at about 8.13. If it's too loud, let me know. I'll adjust it. I can't trust you, Kia. Excuse me, ma'am. May we sit here? It looks like everywhere else is full. Of course. Go right ahead. Thank you, ma'am. So where are you headed, young man? Papa and I are going to the seaside. What about you, ma'am? Where are you going? Oh, what a wonderful trip. I'm going to the seaside, too. To a town called Queen's Horizon. I have a very special project to work on there. Oh, a special project? What kind of special project? Which I'm just going to turn down just a little bit real quick. Retro. Oh! Oh, retro throwing hands. It closed, uh, I call this Silver Willow Inn. Willow Inn. It closed some years ago, but I'm going to rejuvenate the place. The Silver Willow Inn? Was that the big white building with the blue roof? And all the rooms had a different theme? Yes, that's the one. I'm surprised you remember it. I was very little, but I do remember going there once. We stayed in a pirate themed room. There was a pirate room? What are other rooms were there, Papa? Was there a knights and castles room? And a magic forest room? And a... <laughs> yes, dear, there was. And many more besides. Yeah, that's true. If you're gonna press Kia, you've achieved Nirvana. My family used to visit every year, and we made good friends with the people who worked there. So I thought, what better way to express my gratitude than to fix it up and open it again? I have so many wonderful memories of the place. I'd like to see the younger folks have a chance to enjoy it too. That's a great idea, ma'am. It certainly is. People will be able to make all kinds of wonderful memories there. You know, I remember spending a day with the head porter there. He took me on a special behind the scenes tour of the hotel. I wonder if he ever got the teddy bear I begged my mother to mail him. Papa, can we visit the hotel when it's been re rejuvenated, please? That'd be wonderful. I hope you will. We'll have to be patient, kiddo. It's no small feat to reopen a hotel, especially a big one like that. Kia! That's true. But with my bag of tricks and a little elbow grease, I'll polish that dusty old inn back to a high shine. Dear me, the Silver Willow was more run down than I expected. Yeah. I need to hire some help to get the more difficult parts taken care of. There, as the help wanted notice is posted, time for me to get to work on the things I can handle on my own. This octogenarian is flipping a hotel. I want you all to just let that sink in. Then it's a good bit dustier than I remember. Silk flowers and all the planters have held up well, though, though, that's owner certainly got his money's worth. I think the first thing to do is get some lights on in here. It's a great deal harder to clean what you can't see. Lampshades could use a good scrub. Maybe you can find some water in the kitchen. Your do-do list, okay. Oh, let's see, where's the kitchen? Staff. Oh, kitchen, here we go. Oh, my goodness! I heard that hotel was haunted, but I never thought I'd see a ghost. Perhaps I had to stop for a little chat. We absolutely cannot open without our signature Wimbledary, Wimbledary tart. Unthinkable. Inconceivable! There's a bunny in the lobby. Oh my, please calm down, Chef. How can I assist you? Here's our recipe. You must have three bunches of Wimbleberries for a fine tart. Bring them back as swiftly as possible. Call the inn used to grow its own wimbleberries. Perhaps there's still some growing in the garden. Oh dear. Well, I've certainly found water, but I hope to put it into a pail, not under the floor. I think it's time for a bit of patchwork. Aha, that's better. And the green polka dot calico patch matches the kitchen decor quite nicely. That ought to hold until I get some maintenance staff to fix it the usual way. I wish I had a mop to do something about this puddle, but I suppose it'll dry in time. Now that the faucet ought to be working, I need to find a pail or basin of some kind. Restaurant article. Yes. Hotel chef wins award. 
Master Chef and Premier Pastry Artist Willie Cooks of the Silver Willow Inn has been awarded a very prestigious culinary honor from the Snooty Food Institute of the Pastry Chef of the Year. The grand award is, is, is an honor which recognizes a superb pastry chef who has displayed a passion for the art, has, an, has a, an accomplished reputation in the pastry field, and has created a unique work of pastry art which exceeds all others. Chef Willie's skill is deftly demonstrated in his magic wimble at Berry Tart. The amazing creation is as beautiful to look at as it is to eat. One bite will melt all of your cares away. Made from the hard-to-find magic wimbleberries grown high in... I'm gonna actually not read the rest of this because we have limited time. But it is kind of cool they made a little article like that. Hmm, this looks like a bellow portal mushroom. They're useful for many kinds of magic, but I can't think of what I'd use it for right now. Okay, good. Keep that in mind. Okay, where is... It was a cute game. Maybe a nice working for exploding grounds. Okay, we gotta get the lights working. I gotta get I gotta find a bucket for water. Oh, right there. Ah, right, here we are. This will be perfect for water. Fill in the kitchen and get to scrubbing in the lobby. Hey Codapil, how you doing? There, now I can get to work. The lamp on the front dish would be a good place to start. This is in need. I N N need. Now then, I'll do what every witch and wizard dreams of, following the steps of Merlin. And said the sponges to scrub on their own. Though I would admit to being to that being a lesser known facet of the legend. That's better already. I could go around to every light switch or Now we're getting somewhere. With the lights on, I can explore the rest of the hotel and find my next project to tackle. Uncovering the lobby furniture would be a great place to start. Ah, find money! Sweet. This may be one of the liveliest dust bunnies you've ever encountered. You better find a broom to sweep them back outside before they take over. Mastering microtransactions. Where's the story where grandma's like a murderer and you have to like match three to help her rebuild her house to solve the crime? Those ones were wild. Oh god, should I make her sound like Dr. Girlfriend? There, the place looks less haunted now. Now that the furniture isn't dressed up like ghosts and the couch changes is a nice bonus as well. You're sweeping off the combo with your hands, but the very thought makes you shiver. You should probably find a feather duster. The porter! Wait, hello there! Are you the porter? I was, but I'm afraid that's, that it's a terrifically tricky task to portage anything when you walk right through it. I'd be happy to haul your hand luggage, madame, but I'm afraid I can't do the job without hiring some hands. I know just the thing. We'll bring you some bell portos and switch and be twitch them to be bell ports. Bell porters, oh. The Laportos, that's the mushroom. And I also need the tart, so I could go outside while I'm here too. What is what's that? Dining room advertisement. Right? Nightly fine dance dining and dancing. What do we mean to Best steak, seafood, and fresh ingredients. A night to remember. Fine dining. Dancing. I'll have to to dust myself, even with magic. I think I'll head to the lobby, the mezzanine, and my own office, and leave the rest to, for the new hires. It's a cute story. I'll get the mushroom in a minute. Oh, is this the... I just need trim, but you don't have to... Anything... Oh, I, said, I need to find shears, okay. It's poop! Around the mound with your fingernails, so someone's gonna find some sort of shovel. He's grown out of control, and everything that hasn't been reduced to raisin by the sun. All the tools are in the shed, but the shed blocks rusted shut, and no one can get to them. You don't have to secretly be a master lockpicker, do you? Or maybe a safe cracker? <laughs> no, no undercover master criminal here. But let me see what I can do to get those tools out of the shed. Find magic words. Scratch already out here. 
Okay, there's one. Nice. So we can get uh Okay, I can't trim anything or anything like that yet. Yes, we gotta find a way to water them. Just for the body in the shed. There's no body in the shed. Come on, she's just a sweet little old grandma. Who has no idea the ways of murder? Oh, that's just us. Oh, excuse me. It's a frog in the pool. Ribbit. His name is George. With a meth lab. <laughs> Jesse, we have to cook. <laughs> oh, there's the shed derp. Oh, sure, these seem better days. I normally use a spell for greasing muffin tins, but perhaps it'll do some good here. Now, what might be in here? Ah, it should be everything I need for caring for the garden. You know, trim your bag of trips, water, and dig. Nice. Let's get to work. Now for a good trimming. Oh, it dropped. Some of these wimbleberries are too bruised for the chef. Okay, we need two more bunches. Sweet. Man, these wimbleberries look delicious. Oh, we just trimmed them all at once. Okay. I hope that trial is equal to the task. Oh, what do we get? I recognize this treasure chest. We buried this as children. I can't believe it's still here. Oh, sweet. So today, sorry. Better bring back the chef on the double. But first, I'm going to go trim the stuff around there. Put the garden in the front garden. You need to be trimmed and watered. Okay, so yeah, you do one, it does them all. The power of magic. Good, so sorry, so dry then. Surprised there aren't any cactuses growing here. That's the, the pool you're taking care of, and I must say it's looking much better. Now to the for the front yard. Okay. There we go. Gary, these tries the underside of a lizard in the great desert. Next up, trimming. A little too vigorous. There we go. Gardener, everything is taken care of. Excellent. Can I get to the back for you? Yes. Sweet. Returning pawns around the hotel. My pleasure. Oh, and what have we here? What? Wait, what? Oh, you do their quest for them, you bring them back to life! <laughs> Look at that, I'm me again. Thank you, Miss La Witch Lady. Who are you, anyways? His Hestia Kindley. I'm the new owner of the Silver Willow Inn. Yes, we're a necromancer. You don't say. You are just a little sprout last time I saw you, burying treasure in the vegetable bed. Well, Miss Hestia, Hestia, send some new and uh, solid gardeners my way. We'll get this place looking good as Goldenberry before you know it. That can't be legal! <laughs> I mean, who's the IRS gonna tax? A dead man? I think she's onto something here. Take up the whole 15 gold pieces. That's tax evasion. He already died once. It's fine, it's fine, trust me. Perfectly okay and legal. Here are the Wimbleberries, the garden had to offer, Chef. Magnificent! It's the most delectable Wimbleberry tart in the history of the Silver Willow. Ah, Hestia, you've re-inspired my appetite. Now to prepare the kitchen for our new arrivals. We should visit the kitchen garden, too. I'm sure the gardener must thank you for all your hard work. Magic reporter. 
I tax them. Oh no! What would you know? Not only does the hotel have ghosts, it has fire sprites as well. Lounge. Oh. It's the drunk ghost. Or to say, patience is not a virtue. Oh dear, care to labor? elaborate on that? Decades ago, when this hotel was still running, I set aside a cherished bottle of Chateau Lenore with the hope to age it per to perfection. Now I have no hope of ever tasting myself and no customers to serve it to. I'm not sure about that. I'm working on getting this hotel back to what it used to be, so the next generations can enjoy it. Got a plan there? Perhaps I want to get to taste your wine after all. Perhaps. It should be in the still of the cellar. Would you fetch it for me? It'd be my pleasure. So I gotta find a way to get to the cellar. There's so many bunnies everywhere. Oh, that's a light. I was like, what is that on the ground? Unlimited meat! I mean... You're not wrong? It's horrible, but you're not wrong. It's an elevator. Tea room. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Oh no? Whatever is the matter, dear? There are people coming to the hotel, and that means the people will be coming to the tea room. Oh, I don't see what's so bad about that. I'm happy to help you prepare the tea room to reopen. Oh, it's not that. It's the clock on the mezzanine. It used to strike on the hour, but now it just sits there silently. How's anyone supposed to know it's, a tea it's tea time without the tea chime? Oh, is that all? I'll wind the clock for you, dear. It's no trouble at all. You will? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gardening article. Raven Master finds bird. Queen's Garden to take a new post. J.B. Dickey, root beer. Horrible massacre! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Where's the clock right there? You know, should take my happy as soon as I wind it. Although, it'd be quite good with wind it without the clocky. And who knows where it is? Right back to find out where the uh, key is. Seriously, died at work? God. Oh, fuck it. No, not yet, dear. Do you happen to know where the clock key is? Oh, the key? The key! The key fell out of my apron pocket. It could be in the stairwell, or the kitchen, or on the fifth floor where I last delivered tea. Now don't you fret, dear. I'll find the key and wind the clock, and then it will chime for tea. I promise. Okay, so probably fifth floor because... Oh, it's a penthouse. I don't see anything in here. Uh, what is that? Oh, what in the world do we have here? It looks like a plush doll of one of the moon dragons I used to read about in the storybooks. That's probably gonna be something I need to grab later. Once you find the kid guy, oh, there it is. Ah, so it's the missing clock key. Goodness, the poor clock hasn't been wound since the last time someone stayed in the silk room. I want the wizard room. Penthouse. So many rabbits everywhere. The door is locked. Perhaps you can find a key. Back to the mezzanine. Looks to be a good worker. I just take fun and keep it. It's a perfect fit. There we go. There. Maybe the poor tea room manager will feel better now that her clock is chiming again. I better check in with her. Kia. <laughs> she got some pep in her step. I heard it. I heard it. The tea time sounded for tea time. There. Isn't that better? Oh, much better. So much better. Thank you, Miss Hestia. I'd much rather open the tea room when I don't look like a tea towel myself. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Will you take some new staff under your wing? Of course, but their apron pockets must be more reliable than mine. 
I'll make sure of it. I'll keep the clock key safe in the meantime. I mean, we're just giving everyone new life. Are we God? My, it's awfully dark here. Nothing a little magic can fix, though. Light! Oh dear, the balls must be missing. I'm sure there's some in storage, but I'm not sure exactly how to get there. I shouldn't exactly be stumbling through the dark in my elevated age. I could probably find something something for the job elsewhere at the inn. Okay, back to the lobby. Another article. A classified advertisement. For sale. Well, for 42 years age, our dear general manager, Mr. Howard Dune, has decided to retire. After 42 years. Ah, 42 years. Oh, jeez. Temporal honorable. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Broom shop. Okay, I haven't seen a feather duster anywhere, though. It's probably in storage, maybe. Okay, so let's look at our to-do list. Find a broom, find a feather duster, hire someone to hire help the headboarder. I need to find one more mushroom. Wait, wait, wait was there a broom in there? Maybe? Yeah, that's a broom right there. Well, it is a broom, but I'm not about to sweep the whole hotel with a fireplace broom. They're so small. You'd be here until I was a ghost, too. If only I brought the Rears and Soba catalog. No. Dang it. Okay, so how do I... I guess we just look... Room to room to room, I guess. That was the mezzanine. We already kind of looked all around there. There's a fire sprite. Might be important later. Third floor. It's like an explorer's room. Is that a map or something I can read? Oh, last mushroom. Nice. I don't know if it's just a Chinese room, but I can't help but think it doesn't belong. It's a hotel guest room. There should be enough help, uh, extra help for the porter. I should get back to the office to enchant them for him. Okay. Got the mushrooms. Nice. What is on the bed? Oh, it's just, it's unmade. Oh my god. The shroom room, not Dora. <laughs> okay, and then floor four. The pirate room, yar, har, har, har. I don't see anything in here. Um, it was so pretty. The wild west room. This is like the biggest room. Okay, nothing there. Let's go to the porter and then... Can I go down the stairs this way? Oh yeah, do you still still need to find a light? Okay, so I can't do anything without, okay, so. Hmm. Let's go take the uh, mushrooms to the porter first and bring him back to life and see what we can do. Oh, there's rooms in here, okay. No, no, I'll just lay them out like this and... Well, crumble my cap and call me a curmudgeon. Well, this is a very fine bill of in bill of porters indeed. That's better, isn't it? What sharp uniforms the porters wore back in the day. Perhaps I should make some Bella, Port Bella Porter sized ones. Stuff and nonsense, madame. If you plan to reopen this incredible inn, you'll have a right you have a right lot more to be doing than sewing with tiny uniforms. To that end, I'll have one of these fine fungus fellows deliver the la latest Rears and Soba catalog to your office. 
That way you can order any supplies you might need. There we go. Splendid. Thank you, sir. You've been very kind. Now, I suppose I better get back to work. You open the closet and find? Okay. Something of interest in the closet. That's because I say Silver Willow Inn, but it also says Seven Water Lane. No wonder it's still sitting here. Bellow! They're like Pokemon. Okay, to my office. Now, where's the catalog? Oh, right there. Okay, uh, what would you like to buy? Feather dusters? Okay, I don't have enough for everything. It is 100 gold. I haven't found everything. Okay, so I, I do need the feather duster. And the swift sweep broom. Now I can get the bunnies out of here. All right, little dust bunny. As they say, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. That's better. The dust bunnies are very cute, but I can't have them running all over the office. I I better get gold from dust from dusting. That's quite a whip. What an industrious little creature that spider is. Now this is an office I wouldn't mind working in. It looks much nicer shined up. There we go. Thankfully, I, can, I just I go to each room once. That takes care of all the bunnies. There we go. They could be a feature. Oh, maybe not. That looks much better than Jim. I think I can cross the lobby up my to-do list and move on to the next item. Okay, so what's next? Um, Fix the cellar lights. How do I fix the cellar lights, though? Maybe I, I'll go talk to the bartender again. That's gotta be it, right? Oh, at least outside. I don't want that. Wait, what's... Oh, that's uh, a... guest book. Let me see if I can turn the webs. The, and these, these in a dark alley. Bye, Dust Bunny. Oh, well, I could read what they're saying, but oh well. Oh, there's the other one. Much happier outside. So, server webs that need a little extra attention? <coughs> Just tune tight. Oh, it was the statue that sneezed. Ha! Huh. Let's go talk to the, uh... Oh, not that one. Bartender guy, see if he knows how to fix the lights. Oh. So I'll leave this alone for now. Okay, so you... How do I fix the lights, though? the lights though and hey rhino how you doing I, I didn't say hi um, um. hey mana how you doing oh wait I think I know what to do. Oh, come on! Take the fire sprite down to the basement! Shoot. Okay, that's not it.
Huh. Oh, wait, what's this? I think I'll take this with me. It's bright enough to see with those big, with these big lobby windows, but there might be another part of the hotel that's dark. Then I take it up, have the fire sprite lighted. Okay, there we go, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, maybe not. Okay, fine, be that way. Or watch, I have to like trigger it by going down the basement. Oh, that's right. There's a of light bulbs. There must be some in storage. Storage. There we go. I'm sure there's some light bulbs in here. There's no point in like, not giving it a try, right? Light! But at least really something down here works. Spider. Oh dear, these aren't light bulbs. I guess that's the source of our cobwebs. Well, tell us off of Oh, those. Those must be light bulbs. Ah, there are the light bulbs. I'll put them up throughout the hallway. Let's get this fixed up, shall we? Let's try this again, shall we? Light! Aha, much better. Oh, what's in here? Oh, I go, someone must have stuffed this here, in here during prior, re prior renovation. Okay, we're five gold off of what we need. There, nice. I'm actually gonna go buy what I need. Well, I'll, I'll wait to begin from this, I guess. Oh, what do we got? Crack tiles, gouge trim, chip paint, missing bricks, oh, if only. You're there, you're a human, you, you have hands. Why, yes, this is true. As a human, I love to fix things with my hands. Now I don't have any. Can't pick up my tools. Oh dear, what a shame. I believe there we share a common goal. I'm trying to fix this place up. I can certainly use some work. It can certainly use some work. Now that, you have been able, now that you've been unable to care for it. As a human with hands, is there any way I can help you? My father is powered by magic fire crystals. Great for the environment. You're financially conscious, you see, but they all burnt out years ago. I can't get them lit again. Take a look at those crystals over there, would you? There's a lot of work left to do in this place, but hot water would certainly be a good start. Consider me on it. We're not enough to look like coal. I'm afraid it's a little bit above my magical, my magic's pay grade. Something I'm just someone to have here. Yep, okay, the fire sprite. That's where we get the fire sprite now. Yep. I'm getting my steps in today. You might just be taking an old boiler running in. What do you say, my fiery friend? Does a nice cozy boiler sound like a good home? Oh, I'll take that as a yes. I like your spark. Let's get you down to the boiler room to liven up those depleted fire crystals. Okay, Dora, get, get some food. I want to know what you're eating. Because I, I love hearing about food. the coal. Oh, look at that. Thank you, dear. It's as good as new. Some coal to the boiler. Oh, great work. Thank you. Thank you. It is truly, it is truly my pleasure. The water working properly again, we can start to do some real renovations. A oh, nice retro. And my hands are back. I'm really grateful for your assistance. I can't bring myself to ask you to crouch down to fix broken floor tiles or crane your neck to see chip paint. <laughs> My back thanks you. There's someone in this hotel, however, that could use your help. 
Take this. We'll let you into the penthouse. The general manager's been cooped up in there for years now. I'm sure he has work that he's doing. That's okay. Nice. Ten gold. Sweet. Oh, wait. That, where's the wine? The special wine. Spider! But I need to find the wine for the dude. Oh, where is it? Is this it? Is this? Yes, this is the bottle the bartender was looking for. I'll bring it up to him. Chateau Le Nord, Le Van. Le Van. Mr. Traitor. Yeah, it's because of that movie that I drink White Russians. Like, 100%. And I actually really like white versions, so, you know. Seventh League Boots. Uh, put some pep in your step with these magical boots. Oh, jeez! We're... F Grandma has become speed. <laughs> Should've bought these first, jeez. If I need found your wine. You most certainly have. This day may never come. For your help, I know it's not much, but feel free to help yourself to my tip jar. Hopefully it'll be overflowing again in no time. Spacious can pay off after all, but hey, heed me anyhow. Don't be too patient, especially at your age. Always drink the good wine. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, you little mother. Sweet. Let's go up to the penthouse. Come in here, he's now. Locked. Master Key, let's go. Why, hello there! It's been quite a while since anyone has wandered up here. My name is Hestia. Hestia, I was a frequent guest here a long time ago. I'm also the new owner of the Silver Willow Inn. I'm just trying to rejuvenate it. It's been too long since the place had any life to it in it. Oh ho! I suppose so. It's been too long since I've had any life in me either, I'm afraid. What all have you done so far? Oh, just the basics. Got the water working again, cleaned up the lobby, coaxed the fire sprite back to the boiler. Oh my, quite a bit indeed. In that case, I'm sure you wouldn't mind doing just a few more tasks to get this place back in working order. I've come this far. No reason to roll my sleeves back down in da back down now. Most excellent. In that case, I need you to clean up the pool. It becomes quite the swamp when not properly maintained, frogs and all. You also need to make sure all the rooms are properly decorated. Things get switched around in storage sometimes. Finally, several of my co-workers are still floating around here. You may be able to help some of them, too. Yes, I've already started. I've helped the maintenance man, the head porter, the chef, the tea room manager, the bartender, the gardener. That's it so far. Excellent, excellent. You and the inn are well on your way. Okay, so what's my to-do list now? Get George out of the frog pool, find missing item for the starry pirate and for cartographers. Okay. Rabbit. Okay. Okay, see you later, um, Rhino. Take it easy. Oh, hey, hey, I got people working. I'm so glad I got one now. Cool. Let's see how to get George out of the pool. Ribbit. Yes, George, I know. It's a lovely pool, but don't you think you'd be happier with a proper pond with pond weeds and water lilies? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. You miss the boys that used to bring you treats? Oh, George, they've grown up, and in order to open up the hotel so you can meet more children, we have to clean the pool. Ribbit. Find you a better spot, then. I'll, I shall do that. I promise I will have lots of tasty bugs for you to enjoy until the boys bring you more. Okay, I need to find a new spot for George. I think I have just the spot. Mana. <laughs> okay, well, that was my only. Hmm. Unless maybe one of the rooms? Okay, zero. Oh, hey. Cool. Alright, well, let's uh, fix up the uh, rooms, I guess. Okay. 
So what is missing from the cartographer's room? Unless I have to go back into storage and grab stuff? There's that one dragon in that one room. Oh, that's the vampire room. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome back, Dora. Laundry room. Here we go. Oh. First, wash linens from the suites. Then the other rooms. Then dust the, all, the, all these cobwebs. Then, excuse me, is there any way I can help you? Yes, collect the linens from the suites for me and bring them here. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm going there anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, okay, so place where I'm nice bed. Right, better place to put this. I have to take the stuff from storage and take. Okay. Yeah, for a box of cannonballs, so I suppose they're not exactly real. Alright, right, pirate room. I should make the way back home. Okay, that's what we have to do. I didn't realize I had to grab stuff from this area. Is this be a hanging star? Which is somewhere better than this hotel for it. Um, one, two, three. There. Okay. So there we go. Click three spiders in a jar. Oh. Oh, empty jar. Are these jars? Where do I find jars? The kitchen. I think I need to go to the kitchen. There. I know I saw jars. Yes. Okay, cool. I can get the spiders. Ah! One spider. Two spider. Where was the third? It was on one of the floors, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. No, it was right there. Huh? Aha! Yes, play. I'll try these out near the lily pond in the front yard for George. Oh, there is a lily pond in front. I didn't realize that. Whoops. First. Four, three, no, which? That's the vampire room. Mushroom. Mush. Ah, it's a mushroom. Okay, so I gotta do the maid stuff first, and then, okay. So what linens do I need to grab from the rooms? Um, collect the linens from the suites. Oh, I just have to go to each one and figure out which one needs what. Oh my gosh. I know one of them was like a dirty, like a messed up bed, like this one. Is this it? Actually, quick work of them, though. Yes, the one to look to shovel. Okay, 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 okay. Brown pulled pork. Is that the only dirty linen? Oh, no, right here. Ain't no dirty beds here. No dirty beds here, but that's where I put the stories on. Okay. Oh, is that. Ah, there we go. Pretty down the laundry room. Nice. First, we gotta coax George out of his spot. Where? I said lily pond out front. I don't remember seeing a lily pond out front. Oh, it's right there. Sure, sure to love them. They charge the accommodations are ready. Right, George. Beat feet. Do you know the lily pound up uh, front? Ribbit. Well, I just checked. It's very well stocked with big, juicy spiders. I'm sure you'd be happier there than in the swimming pool. Ribbit, ribbit. 
You're very welcome, George. Enjoy your new home. Yes, I don't think you'd be much happier in the lily pond. A general manager would be much happier to not have a frog in the pool. How do we clean the pool, though? I guess it just does it automatically. Maybe. Basement. Do you have them? Yeah, I do. Good. Time to get washing. Clean linens. Return these to front. Oh, not. Oh my gosh. They are, but you know, you know how it is. Okay. Coffin. Clean linens. It's one on each floor, right? I just can't remember exactly which rooms. It wasn't that one. It was... Forbidden, forbidden Jungle Room, yeah. And then it's the uh, floor five. It wasn't the Renaissance suite. Wait, no, it was the Renaissance suite. What am I thinking? Yep. Stack of clean linens beside. It's a water bed. Uh. <laughs> Delivery? Yes. Good. Very good. Well, now that I have sleeves this far, I better roll them up and get to work. There's a lot to be clean in this hotel. This will be presentable once again. Now I can put the uh, stuff where I wanted to. Yep, maids are clean and nice. Vampire suite. Mushroom. Photographer's room, there we go. One framed map, there we go. Green jungle, not that room. Saloon. Ah, yes. The pirate room. Now, where do we put the... Oh, the cannonballs go over here. Eight before ten, uh, ten. Can of fights will not be a bit more evenly matched. Hee hee hee. And the last one is the Starry Night. Don't stand out. What don't say, but these rooms are all special. Can you imagine what fun it has been to design them? So fit nicely here. Yeah, I think I'll have some to sort somewhere along the way. Okay, what's my to-do list now? We did it! I think we did it! Can of, I want the cannon room now. <laughs> Hestia, how goes your progress with our fine establishment? Quite well. I fixed up the pool and redecorated the rooms, so I dare say we're about ready to open. It just maybe. Which of the others have you offered your, your assistance to thus far? I've helped the maintenance man, the head porter, the chef, the tier manager, the bartender, the gardener, the maid. That's everyone, isn't it? It most certainly is. You've actually done it. Summer Willow Inn is ready to open. Meet me in my, <clears throat> our office, dear Hestia, and I, we will get this hotel ready for guests. Seems all my hard work is paying off. Off I go. Um, lobby. I have never saved. Oh my god. Not even once. <laughs> oh no. All hail the necromancer. Well, what's all this? This is... Thank you. Is it now? Well, thank you all as well. But there's still one thing I haven't managed to do yet. What in the world could be... What in the world could be wanting for work, Miss Hestia? You've restaffed the porters. I restored the lost Wimbleberry tart recipe. I rescued the building from being overtaken by plants. I restocked the book. Finest wines for all to enjoy. I reeled the boiler with a fantastic fire sprite. We're on the clock room, so chimes for tea time. The clock. And return the rooms to the usual sparkling state. Excuse me. Quite so, Miss Hestia. You've done a thorough job of rejuvenating the old inn. What is this one task you still have to complete? Reopening! <laughs> but I can't do that without a good and proper open sign. Guess we didn't know about that, Mr. Manager, sir. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. But in the meantime, the hotel staff, old and new, have prepared a little something for you. You open the gift. And you find the open sign. The open sign! We can open the inn at last. 
Thank you for bringing the inn back, Miss Hestia. It means more to us than you. What about your lives? <laughs> Thank you for giving us our lives back. <laughs> open. There. That was the last thing. The Silver Willow Inn is officially open once more. Papa, Papa, look! There she is! It's Miss Hestia! <laughs> Retro! <laughs> Capital is more important than life. Miss Hestia, do you remember us? <laughs> From the train? Of course I remember you. Did you have a good time at the seaside? Oh yes, I'm taking a walk up here every day to see if the hotel is open yet. Well, then you have perfect timing. I just this minute hung the open sign. Won't you come in for tea? And you simply must meet the people who work here. That was quite cute, actually. That was the cutest necromancer story I think I've ever encountered. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I, I quite liked that. It, it was cute. It was very to the point. A little easy to get lost in some points as you're trying to figure out what to do, but it wasn't too hard to figure out how to progress it next and further. So it wasn't too bad. Um, a bit on the rails, like, um, it would have been nice if there was maybe like a little bit more, uh, variation besides go here, do this, fetch this, fetch that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know what I mean? Like maybe a little bit of mini games or something, or you had to chase down the dust bunnies more than just... Like, they're slow moving as they were, or clean all the items, you know, a little bit more interactivity. But all in all, really solid, solid entry. Welcome to Silver Thank you for playing the Happily Haunted Hotel. Yeah, she's a necromancer. Hestia, kindly. That's why she was younger, Adora. <laughs> Now that was cute. I, I did like that. That was quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> 